I get asked a lot, why do you like murders and mysteries and things like that? Well, I suppose you could say because I have murder in my blood. Mm -hmm. You see, I have the honor of being descended from a man by the name of John Billington. John Billington is not a name widely known in American history, but he was one of the passengers on the Mayflower. He also has the dubious distinction of being the first man in America to commit, be arrested, tried, and executed for murder. You see, unlike the other pilgrims that came over to settle Plymouth Plantation, John and his family were not paragons of virtue. They were basically forced on the rest of the pilgrims because the investors for Plymouth realized that they had a manpower shortage. And to ensure that this little venture would be making them money, they said, you have to take on more people. Well, as it turned out, John Billington, his wife Eleanor, and their son Francis needed to get out of England fast. John was just as much of a troublemaker over there as he was over here and on the road over. He was Catholic, which these devout Puritans had a real problem with. He was profligate. He was escaping debtors. He didn't believe that an honest day's work would kill anybody, but he didn't see the need to take any chances. He was not careful about his language among the God-fearing pilgrims. He was not careful about his opinions. Uh, he basically was the proverbial thorn in everybody's side. And as the population and the settlement and the colony began to grow, there was a young man by the name of Mr. Newcomb that John took a particular dislike to. And one day, after having a very public and intense verbal altercation with Mr. Newcomb, John Billington saw him out hunting. And so he took aim and he shot him in the shoulder a wound from which Mr. Newcomb died. This was a deliberate action on John's part. Everybody knew it, but that wasn't very cut and dry for them. As Governor William Bradford, who incidentally is another ancestor of mine, wrote to Governor Winthrop of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, he was in a quandary. Yes, John Billington was not well liked. He would not be missed by many, if any, but the colony was already down one pair of hands. Could they really afford to be down two? And Governor Winthrop sent him a letter saying that it was necessary, as hard as it was, it was necessary that a public example be made of John Billington, that the stain of murder be cleansed from these shores, and it be done in such a way so as to suggest and prevent anybody from ever deciding to take that course of action again. And so John was put on trial. He was publicly executed. He was taken off into the woods and buried in an unmarked grave. It was definitely a big impression on the colony it definitely gave everybody pause to think. Gave many people to think that justice was done. A terrible murder had been committed. An egregious act. A deliberate effort. Justice was served. As for the rest of Governor Winthrop's hopes, that this would prevent anyone from ever deciding to take this course of action again. If that were the case... I would probably be writing travel reviews. And an awful lot of law enforcement, prosecutors, and defense attorneys would be out of job.